but Urban was a principal of the school here. Actually, the school we're in at the moment, he was sent here to build a school in 1959 and do the fundraising for it. Uh, when he landed in Clara, he, 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 he was very much a community-based man and he started pound leagues out in the field out there. But at that time, there was no structure for under 10 or under 11s and I was kind of hoping to keep them together. Mm. And um, the Bud Urban League was initially set up to foster uh, teams for the Clara Jet Club for under 12, from under yeah. 12. Yeah, look, I'm after to find out that Brother Urban was born in Kilkenny, but well, I don't know what year. That's grand, thanks. Uh, look, it says that Brother Urban died in 1994. This was the same year the league was out. That's brilliant, thanks. Yeah, look, uh, the Brother Urban Underage Football League is celebrating its 20th League of Games in the coming year. That's grand, thanks. Brother Urban was a teacher in St. Francis High School. I don't know what year, but I'll try and find someone that knows. I think we should get some interviews with the uh, young lads that are playing in this year's Brother Urban League. Um, what award did you win in the Brother Urban? I won the junior captain of the year. That's good. Jordan, what were your best memories in the Brother Urban? Scoring goals and points. Stephen, uh, who was the best footballer you played with? Yeah, my, the best football player I played with was Cork Lane and Sand Beach. Keen, what age did you begin playing the Brother Urban League in? My, I was five years old. What was your favourite match to play in? In the final uh, last year. Very good. And this year is the 20th anniversary for the Brother Urban. Are you all going to be playing in it? Yeah! Oh yeah, Brother Urban came to Clara in 1955. And at that time, uh, the Clara under 14 team were in the county semi-final and had been trained up to that by Brother Nicholas. Brother Urban took over, so he concentrated on the, the into the final and we won it. We beat St. Connell's in the final. I can remember him bringing out a big armful of hurleys and a couple of hurling balls and that and threw them out in the grass. And years afterwards I asked him, why did he do that? Well, he said, you really want to hurl or go off and play cowboys and Indians with the hurleys? His input into football and hurling, he, like, he was from Kilkenny, you know, he would have a lot of input into hurling as well. Yeah. He would have had a huge influence on, on yeah. the Gaelic games in Clara. When the lads came along and said, we're going to have a some sort of a football thing. I said, why not call it the Brother Urban League in his honour? Because he only had died a few months previously. That's full cross now as we hit lad. We're actually having a project in TY. We're going to ring all the members of the Brother Urban from over the years, from all across the world. Yeah, I, I'm delighted to hear you saying that. And if, I would have a lot of contacts for you and any help I can, I can give you, I will give you. Yeah, I've um, still been in contact with a lot of lads played under me that year, so yeah. definitely, yeah. That's great. Gathered them around. And we hope to have a lot of people back. At the moment, they've been talking to the first captains, the first managers, all that sort of thing. So, so people have become greatly involved, and it's great to see people from outside of the town. Right, we have all the information we need, so I think we should go and get people involved with the project about Brother Urban this year. Uh, and can you get on the phones now, see can we get talking to people as well, please? Yeah, I have Joe Amara on the phone in South Carolina. That's Grant. Put that on the map. Yeah, I have Gary Tracy on the line, all the way from Abu Dhabi. That's brilliant, thanks. Put that on the map as well. Well, Gary, this is Colm here. How is Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi is very good, Colm. Very warm, very nice place to be at this time of the year. Yeah. Yeah, we're organising to try and get as many people home for the 20th anniversary of the Brother Urban League. Would you be able to make it? Of course I would, yes. That's great. Thanks. See you there. Well, Joe, it's Carl here. Hi, hi, Carl. How are you getting on in South Carolina? Not too bad. Getting on grand now. How are you getting on in your job? Working in an Italian restaurant. All right. Uh, We're just doing this project for the gathering in a school here, trying to get as many people from foreign countries home. For the Brother Urban? Yeah, we're doing about the Brother Urban. Uh, it's the 20th anniversary this year and we're having a party. Will you oh, come yeah, up to it? I wouldn't miss it for the life of me. Alright, that's grand. Alright, John. Alright, no All right, see it. Bye. Yeah, look, I have Sydney, Australia here. Mark that on the map. Yeah, look, I have Paris here. Hold on one second. Yeah, look, I have Rio here. Yeah, look, Pal, I have Rio here. Yeah, I have Moscow and Russia here. Yeah, it's a big, I'm huge here. social day in the town here. And of course, the other big thing is we have the band. Which Brother Urban was greatly involved in the music and that, and the town band now, the parade down the town, stopped the traffic, 
everyone's wondering what's going on. It's the Rugger Urban League. And that's it. And it's memory, in my book anyway, of a great man. This is what we're all here for, the Brother Urban Under 12 Football League. You can see here all the teams. All talked out. Some of the great old names going back over 100 years.